man. It's the Rasta country, motherfucker, man. Look at my son, man. Look at my son. <laughs> He's so rough, it don't make no sit. That took us so rough, it don't make no sit. Him and out here, what he doing, pigs. Hey, man, these are called Asabao Island pigs. It's actually a mixture between wild pigs and domesticated pigs, right? So that's why whenever you touch them, they can raise their hair on the back of their neck to look like a hyena. I mean, I actually love these pigs. Quick little facts on them. They actually are insulin resistant. So if you ever get any Asabao pigs, don't feed them a lot of corn simply because if they get diabetes, insulin will not work. So these, again, are Asabao Island pigs. They can get up to be like 300 to 400 pounds simply because they are mixed with wild pigs. They are great pigs. They are a lard pig. That's why they are long. They're not a meat pig. They're actually a lard pig. So they make a lot of grease and fat and stuff like that. But these are Asabao Island pigs. I've had these pigs for almost about two years now. So uh, they're not too big. They're probably about 175, about 180. Haven't measured them. I might be wrong off the measurements, but they might be almost 200 pounds. Touch that pig. Tell two dollars come in. Touch that pig. Touch that pig. Touch him. Give me two dollar. Touch him. There you go. Touch him. Touch that pig. Why are you climbing it? Why are you climbing the gate? Huh? What you want to get off in there? You want to get off in there? He ain't number one. He ain't number one. It's all right. 